Hello everyone, this is Sean Broccoli here, and in today's video we will be doing part 3 of our DeSega 4 Complete Episode 10 Guide. So, um, buckle up for this one, because it's this is going to be one of the longest videos. Uh, and what I mean by that is, basically, this video is going to be one stage, and it's going to be the length of pretty much the average video that I put out. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right to that. Settle this. Excellent. I accept the challenge. M me too. I'm not gonna lose. Guess who won't be eaten? Miss Artina's heart will reach Mr. Nemo. Yes, for Artina's sake, I won't let you destroy this world. I will stop you, no matter what. Shut up. Stop saying your name. Sartina will become an angel. I won't believe that. Please believe us. I'm right here. Right here in front of you. Shut up. Shut up. I can't hear you or see you. You're just one of the demons. He, he heard me. I won't approve of anyone. Demons, angels, I won't. I won't forgive you. Die! Disappear! I'll destroy you! Shut up! I admit that we demons have neglected our responsibilities and brought confusion to the lives of many humans. I pay my respects to your dedication and devotion, even after your body has perished. That being said, Judge Nemo, I'm going to defeat you! To bring Hades to the world and restore them to how they're supposed to be. To keep the promise I made. To protect the one I could not. Mr. Vampire. tingling too no it wasn't like that don't you dare misunderstand what i meant with the promises i made so it has nothing to do with artina i'm going to protect this oh yes that's right sardines i can't let sardines die off with the rest of the world i said i'm going to protect sardines hey are you guys listening to me no not a single soul my all because of your careless comment. No idea what's going on now. Get ready, Judge Nemo. I'll make you see through your blinded eyes. So this is stage six. It's probably one of the hardest stages in the game. Before you even attempt this level, I do recommend that you get all the top equipment that's available to you at this point in the game. 
So what you're going to want to do is get your product ranked to level 12 and just buy all the top rated um, weapons and equipment. Uh, you just want to have the best gear on your characters. You also want to make sure that your characters are at least par level to the, the enemies. So I believe that's like a level 100. If you're still having trouble with it at, at that point, uh, some other things that you could do is promote your generic characters to the, the highest that you can. Um, it's obviously going to depend on what level they are and what level the promotions are unlocked at. But uh, with each t promotion, the aptitude for the characters goes up and that'll, that'll improve your stats. Another option is you can reincarnate and power level back to level 100. So if you reincarnate as a genius, which is what I would recommend. If you're not going to do genius, I, I wouldn't even bother if you're going to um, at that point. You'll need 5,000 mana per character to do that. Actually, maybe a little bit more if there's... Um, especially for generic characters when promotions are involved. But anyways... Uh, basically what happens is 95% of the stat I think the stats stick when you reincarnate so your character reincarnates even stronger and then you get uh, bonus uh, attributes that you can add to your stats to make them even better the other thing that you could do is you could utilize the item world to level up your items, which will basically increase all, all the stats that the item increases. So if something, say, gives you 200 attack, if you upgrade it, or up, yeah, upgrade the level, that 200 is going to obviously increase to something else. Now, in terms of leveling up, there's uh, actually three different kind of things um, with the item world so the standard weapons so basically your black font weapons they're only gonna have 30 stages so they will only uh, you can only level up during those 30 stages if you're I guess lucky or know what you're doing you can probably rank it up past level 30 because it, it's you're limited to going to once you finish stage 30 that's it for the item world for that item but you can kind of get extra experience within the item wor world's other levels so you'll actually end up leveling up more than the state you don't like get one level per stage kind of thing and and then you have your other rarities um, so I believe it's just rare and legendary. I want to say... I, I can't recall how many levels or stages the, the rare has, but the legendary weapons, they're going to have 100 lo uh, stages. And the, the max level for legendary weapons is 300. So the, the only obvious blind spot there is we don't really know what the... The limit is for rare. If I just had to guess off the top of my head, I'd say probably uh, it'd probably cap at maybe a hundred levels, maybe 150. As far as stages go, maybe there'd just be 50 stages. Maybe it'd go to 60. Uh, but it's really not that relevant. Either way, you're gonna get a significant boost from doing that. Obviously, uh, that's not 100% uh, ne necessary to beat this level. It's just something that uh, can help you out. In my playthrough, I only did the the reincarnations prior, much prior to the, the level. So I probably did that in one of the earlier episodes. Maybe before, I think that uh, I got stuck at episode 7 against the present Hugo, so I did the reincarnations there. Um, so, the other thing is, in terms of equipment, 
I'm going to uh, recommend that you utilize the glasses equipment. So what those do is they increase the the hit of your your characters. Uh, so hit hit is the stat that kind of determines how likely you are to hit an enemy rather than miss. Where whereas the speed uh, stat helps you escape or or dodge kind of thing so the higher your speed the more likely it is that an attacking character will miss when they hit you and the higher hit means the higher chance you have of inflicting damage so the enemies here have high speed so that's why i, I recommend using the the glasses equipment so when you, you finally load up the level you're going to notice that there's some geo blocks and some geo panels ignore them they have three effects on them which is enemy turbo times three no lift and no color change overall only one of those actually matters and at the end of the day the enemies aren't going to sit on those panels there's only a few of them there and they're not going to attack you from there they're pretty much going to charge you at any point that any opportunity they're given basically uh, I've tr I've tried on a few playthroughs going through and destroying the geo blocks and it hasn't really accomplished anything. Uh, basically, what I would do was I on that first turn I would send out my most mobile characters to get them near as close to the bridge area as possible, uh, pick up my mages and throw them across, and then on the next turn after the enemies all magic change, I destroy the block. Obviously, you you want to go for the color change one first. There's going to be one on each side. And then, obviously, all four blocks destroy. The cha panel changes color. It inflicts damage on the enemies. And it removes the effects as well. But the downside of that was that my mages kind of got cut off from the rest of my mate um, fighters. So the, the only real time they're usually able to attack is if an enemy is near the edge of of the the platform in the middle or if they're actually being targeted by the, the enemy in which case it's not that useful anyways because they'll get owned so as far as recommendations go ignore the geo blocks the geo panels not really relevant and then we'll get straight to kind of the strategy that i use so since they use the the magic change on the, the their first turn a lot of people like to skip the first turn. I mean, you, you can do that if you're not confident that you can take out any enemies in one turn. Uh, basically, what happens is if an enemy magic changes after your turn, any damage that you did kind of gets negated. So if, it, if you can't kill an enemy in, in that one turn, then you pretty much just wasted a bunch of attacks. But what you'll see me do is I will target one of the enemies with basically my entire team. And I will actually succeed in taking one out, one of the giant uh, enemies out before they uh, match change. Which actually makes things a lot easier when I deal with the humanoid enemy. At that point, you can end your turn. The rest of the enemies will match change. You'll probably get attacked by the the humanoid character that can't magic change but the the benefits of this is they're going to have less health because i believe they, they get a bit of a boost there all their stats kind of get a bit of a boost and then you pretty much have all your characters there and ready to attack and you'll just spread yourself out so because you obviously don't want to have uh, any characters taken out by large areas of attack and then what you're going to do is just at all times focus as many characters as you can onto one enemy obviously it's a little hard on such a small map to get everybody without putting your characters too close together so what I like to do is I kind of leave a couple characters up top so usually you can leave maybe your three 
Uh, not all three. St I, I left two strong fire, two of my strongest fighters, and one just, uh, I guess, one of my weaker ones. I can't recall the exact time I did this, but uh, you should recognize now that my characters' names have kind of changed. I know I said earlier in the series that I would make some broccoli-friendly names. So I've gone ahead and named, renamed a lot of the characters after vegetables to kind of keep with the theme. Um, but obviously I don't know when I did that, so it actually probably could be in earlier videos that you noticed. But it's not a huge deal. Just something fun. Uh, anyways, so by leaving a couple guys up top... What we're hoping to happen is, after we end our turn, we're hoping that the enemy will kind of be distracted by some of the guys up there, and they won't all head towards our group at the bottom. Now, that definitely happens in my playthrough. I don't know if... That's sort of going to, if that's going to be like a variable kind of thing, or if um, if they're kind of scripted to do certain things. The one thing I will point out is it looks like the gunner on my playthrough he ignored um, Valvatores and Desco, who are my two top fighters. I kept up at the top. But the bodyguards seem to get distracted by uh, Cabbage, which was my lady fighter, which I consider to be one of the weaker characters that I had at that point. Um, I don't think she was promoted or anything. and she, she was usually one of my characters that probably got killed a lot more often than the other ones. Anyways, so that would happen, and then obviously the bio suit would attempt to move up, but uh, it takes some time for that to happen. So what you kind of want to pull off is you want to kill, since you're attacking all these enemy, or the one enemy with all your available characters, you want to take out, you want to attempt to take them out in one shot, like one turn, kind of. So, obviously the best thing here is to, is if you can split them up and get one at a time, which is what happened in my playthrough. If not, um, you'll have to kind of make do. Obviously, it's probably most important that you avoid taking dam damage than... It is to inflict the damage, uh, just because even if you lose one character a turn, it's still better than losing multiple in a turn. So just keep your characters distanced away from each other so they're not going to be targeted altogether and just target the same enemy until they're dead. Uh, strategy should work out for you. In terms of what enemies to target first and like a particular order, I don't know that there is a particular order that you should do, but the what I what worked for me was the Lady Samurai first, the Gunner second, uh, the Bio Suit third, and then the Bouncer last. If you do have an opportunity, the Battle Suit one, I kind of recommend. If you have the ability to take him out soon, sooner, or maybe try and focus on him, I don't suspect that you'll be able to take him out sooner than third. Uh, but I do definitely recommend taking him out before the bouncer. The bio suit does way more damage than probably any other character in this on this map, so taking him out will probably be beneficial. Uh, the other thing is. I know he has the lowest speed of all the characters, so he's going to be a lot easier to hit. 
in terms of health, I can't recall, but I think he was kind of weak on that account, too. But uh, chances are the gunner is going to confront you before the bio suit even gets to you. So that's why I say the bio suit's likely going to be the third enemy that you're going to want to take out. One of the most important things that I should mention is to keep your mages alive because they are going to be lifesavers in this fight. Um, if you have any of the, the higher ranked abilities, like Giga Fire, Giga Ice, Giga Wind, or maybe even Omega. Ome uh, Omega would definitely be a lifesaver. But uh, Giga is good enough. If you, I probably should have mentioned that uh, at the start. But yeah, those are going to be some spells that you'll want because they're going to do heavy damage to these guys if they hit. Obviously, there's always a chance they'll miss. So once you're down to the the final enemy, at this point, I would say. There's a good chance you'll probably succeed. Especially if you have most, if not all, your characters still alive. Uh, the one thing that I will just bring out, or I guess mention, is to just not get too cocky. Uh, sometimes you can let your guard down, make a, a stupid choice, and then the enemy just kind of wrecks a bunch of your characters because you got a little careless um, but if you're if you're down to one and you know the the bouncers your last guy I, th I think it's pretty safe to surround him and just annihilate him it's not like he can uh, if you surround him you can't move anywhere um, he pretty much has identical skills to Fenric so at this point, I don't think he has anything too drastic that can completely obliterate your team. Like, if he if he had Big Bang, maybe he could. I don't know if he does. I haven't seen him use it, so I don't think he does. Uh, so, I, yeah, at this point, just kind of surround him and just unload on him, and you really shouldn't have any trouble. Um... The only thing I could recommend is just be careful with your attacks. You're, as you watch this video, I, ta I don't take my own advice and I do get careless. And I actually end up killing at least one of my own characters, one of my characters uh, attacking the bouncer. But obviously it, d it didn't really end up mattering. But uh, as far as that goes, there's not much else to go over with this. You're basically just going to go through the level, putting all your f firepower on one enemy at a time, trying to take them out as quick as possible. Obviously, if you could do that in in the same turn, or like kill one enemy in a turn, that's beneficial. And it'll make things a lot easier on you. So I'll leave you with what's left of the video um, that'll pretty much do it for uh, this one uh, the next video will just focus on the final stage of the actual final episode this one this time it's not a, uh, a fake out so uh, what we'll do there is I'm gonna have basically two versions of that uh, battle I'm gonna show the the actual fight that I did which worked out and I don't think that you'll kind of have the same kind of luck that I did but uh, just in case what I'm do gonna do as well is put up a second uh, playthrough or not playthrough but like a second version of that fight and it's it's gonna show you how to basically cheese method the the boss which is what I talked about in the other previous videos. So you'll get to see it firsthand, finally.
Make yourself up, Judge Nemo. I know you can see our team. Can you hear me? No! Can you see me? No! I can't see anything! I don't believe you. Please, just believe in my words once more. Just like you did back when you were a ragged soldier. Oh. Miss Artina, you're really... Yes, please open your heart to me. I'm right here. I can see. I can see you. You're... You're really an angel now. That's correct. Artina became an angel after she died. She watched over you and tried to guide you, even though saving you was the reason she was killed. Even though she was called a thief in the netherworld, she fought a lone battle to stop you from destroying the world. That's absurd. How could she? Yes, I too did not believe it at first, but that is the truth. For 400 years, she watched over you and wept, a helplessly pure angel. But that's Artina. <laughs> I'm a bit offended to hear that from you, Mr. Vampire, who refused to drink blood because of a promise you made to a lady. I just didn't notice. I didn't know Miss Artina was watching over me all this time. I've been such a fool. And I knew. I knew what I was doing wasn't going to make her happy. But I... I just couldn't forgive the humans. Nor the demons. But now I see. She knows what I've been doing all this time. I'm the biggest fool here, and I've made Miss Artina sad once again. Nemo! Wait! Are you running away? He's gone. The malicious tension in this area is slowly starting to lighten. Then, did we defeat Fear the Great? That's what it looks like. By the way, it was my lord, Valva Torres, not me. Yay! My dream of rocks! This dream is awesome! I saved the world! Now I just have to become a ruler of the world and fill this place with pots, studs, and captives, and it'll be a perfect happy ending! Desco is glad Big Sis is happy, but she's not so sure about having saved the world as a final boss. Did it, Father. Now the Netherworld will be saved. But is everything really over? It's really over. Please, don't worry, Miss Artina. Both Fear the Great and I will disappear now. Don't worry. What? Disappear? I'm so sorry, Miss Artina. trying to do I think he's going to remove his soul along with fear the great as long as fear the great's power keeps getting weaker the possessed soul will return to limbo as well not even to Hades huh complete nothingness to limbo for capital punishment from where he will never reincarnate he deserves it I guess what considering what he's done I think he deserves to be tortured even more. Desco agrees with Big Sis. He shouldn't be allowed to just disappear. You want to save him, don't you? Huh? No, I didn't say that. You don't have to pretend. 
I can tell by the look on your face. Um, save him? That's ridiculous. If he is allowed to be saved, then what about all the lives that were lost because of him? Should we go back in time and save them too? He's a helpless fool. A fool who chose to perish because he couldn't bear his own weakness. And you say that you want to save him? Who do you think you are, a mighty god? What you're trying to do is the epitome of hypocrisy. You know, you could be right. It might just be for my own satisfaction. What he's done is not something that can be forgiven. The weight of his sins is immeasurable. But that's exactly why I don't want him to be able to take the easy way out by simply disappearing. His sins may not be paid off for centuries. Perhaps it would take more than 400 years. But he must be made to face them. More than 400 years? You're pretty harsh, Arkina. You know, that is the worst thing you could ever do to him. Fine. Let's give him the punishment he so rightly deserves. And what would that be? What do you think? Turn him into a Prinny, of course. I'll re-educate him thoroughly as a Prinny instructor. Lord, that is an excellent idea. Considering his sins, it will definitely take more than 400 years to pay them off. The soul of a dead villain pays off his sins as a Makes perfect sense. Just like you, right? Hey, I'm not a villain, dead, or a frinny. I'm up for that idea, though. It's what you're supposed to do when you commit crimes in this world. Gaston has no objections either. The problem is, how are we gonna save him? To save him, we must peel his soul away from Fear the Great before they perish together. Then let's go, to save his soul before fear the great perishes, and to guide him down the path he deserves most, as a printing. And that will do it for the end of this video. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you do like the content and would like to see more kind of stuff like this, go ahead and like or subscribe. Uh, this is Sean Broccoli, I'll see you guys next time.